So this is a review of the Manta Sleep Mask Slim from a company called Manta or Manta Sleep Masks, something like that. And basically this is an eye mask for sleeping that would block the light out. So if you're sensitive to light when you sleep or you have to sleep during the day for whatever reason, then uh, you might use some sort of sleep mask. This is kind of a, a new one from a relatively new company that I think only makes sleep sleep masks and sleep aids. They have a bunch of different ones like the Pro, the uh, the Weighted, the Cool. There's their standard one. This is called the Slim. The Slim is basically a same the same sleeping mask as the standard, but it has a, a slimmed down band on the back and it's designed to be a little bit better for side sleepers. So if you sleep on your back, then uh, you don't really have to worry so much about the uh, the mask itself, which it kind of stays out of the way. You know, maybe the band will be an issue, which it'll be on the back of your head. But if you're a side sleeper, then the the width and depth of the mask becomes more of an issue. So they recommend the slim for that. Manta's masks have a bunch of common features, so uh, that means they're fully adjustable. So the this piece, they call it the eye cup. Uh, your nose goes here. Uh, this is uh, fully adjustable. So if you have a wider or narrower face, or you like these further apart from your uh, from your nose, or you want to perfect the eye placement, then they have this adjustable system. The band is a high quality, in this case, very slim, which this is the slim piece of elastic, fully adjustable. You can see here, it has some uh, kind of fancy Velcro here, the kind of new shiny kind that the teeth are very small. Uh, and then this whole piece right here is Velcro. So you can go anywhere from here to a uh, very small like a child's head to all the way over here for uh, a, much, a much larger head. It doesn't even fit in the camera. So big range there, that's really nice. This piece up here is a, uh, I think it's like a lightweight cotton. It's kind of elasticy. It's not a linen, it might look linen. It's not, there's a little logo right here. You can see the, the Manta. This, you can't even tell it's here when you're wearing it. So that's nice. And uh, not too much else in the way of features. This is a the receiving end of the Velcro, but it, to your face, it just feels kind of fuzzy. Uh, it's not as nice as say like a uh, you know a silk. A lot of people prefer that. In the world of Manta, you can get a silk one, but it's an upgrade. This model is thirty-five dollars. The Cool is forty-five. The Pro is ninety, which is very expensive for an eye mask. The Weighted is forty-five. I think the silk is forty-five as well. So I've used this for a few months, and I wanted to talk about it. Uh, basically. Uh, some nice features. On paper, this thing looks amazing. Fully adjustable, the band is good. Usually the band is where these things fail. Even even the best ones of these, the band will break down after a few months, or the Velcro are out, something will fall apart here. This band is top notch, at least in its execution, not so much in its design. The actual physical band is very good. Uh, none of the logos bother your face, that's nice. Uh, this is really good if you want a full blackout. If you want the darkest possible sleep, this mask has excellent coverage and this design, it fits around your eyes and it works great. It really blocks out all the light. So stellar marks there. If you want something that doesn't put any pressure in your eyeballs, I know some people, I guess, are sensitive about anything being against their eyes and this is really good for that. It has a cup shape that looks like a headphone cup where this is like a light foam. This is where your eye goes and your eye sits in here. This goes around the eye, around the, uh, I guess, around the ocular cavity, whatever. And there's no pressure on your eyes. The downside is because there's a smaller surface area, <laughs> you know, there's more pressure around here because it's not spread out among the whole, around the whole area. For me, I actually don't like this design. I feel like a lot of pressure is here, and sometimes that can be annoying if you, uh, maybe the pressure around here, the outer side of your eye, or maybe the inside, whatever bothers you. For me, it's the outside. Uh, you have additional pressure there. 
If you're a side sleeper, then say you're sleeping this way, facing away from the camera, you could imagine that there's a lot of pressure right here because here is fine, whatever, it's not exposed. Here, you're partially against the pillow and this part, part is just kind of floating. This, your head is down and there's just a lot of pressure build up there. I find that to be very uncomfortable. It's nice that you could adjust these, but uh, honestly, I didn't find that the adjustment was was like that helpful. You know, I guess like I didn't need to tweak this by a millimeter or two. That, that didn't really increase the comfort for me and I, I played with it a lot. The band itself, again, it's a great band. It's full elastic. The Velcro has not worn out at all, despite using this for some months. That's, that's fantastic. The downside is that the band is very slim and if it slips down, so basically think of it like this, if it slips down the back of your head, which is prone to do if you have shorter hair, then this piece that's very slim and it's pretty rigid starts cutting into the top of your ears. I found that to be extremely annoying and uh, it's just a downside of the slim design and the fact that the band is somewhat rigid. You can see by doing the full Velcro and having a wider band, you, you think it would hold on to your head better, but really it just slides down and it kind of cut into the top of your ear. Again, that, that really I found to be quite uncomfortable. As far as other features go, uh, it's relatively portable. It could collapse down, no problem. It comes with a carrying case, which is nice. $35 is, uh, I would say, on the expensive side, but it's not crazy for these. You know, if you're buying off Amazon, you could buy uh, a very well-rated one for $10 or $12. But if you're buying it after market, or not, whatever, not after market, but from a company that's making just these, then a lot of times it's from a luxury company or a silk goods company or a sleeping company, and you're going to pay more. That's just how it is, what you're buying a specialty product. This is that, and so $35 for a specialty product is gonna help you sleep. I don't think is that bad. I haven't tried the $45 ones, and I definitely haven't tried the $90 one. For me, that seems pretty expensive. I'd be happy to get it if I like this one more, but I don't like this one enough to spend uh, you know, almost 3X on this design. I think this is just not for me, and I could see some people liking it, but again, if you're a side sleeper, and unless you specifically hate pressure on your eyes, I think these eye cups, are over rendered or like over thought whatever you want to call it and it's like a complex solution to what for me isn't a problem maybe for other people it's a problem then this is the mask for you for me is actually a big step back and in fact this right here it's a little too small to be an eye mask you just don't have a lot of coverage some additional height would be better but this is a more comfortable design than this piece with the eye cups which for me don't work. Uh, and then again, cutting into my ear, I found that to be annoying. Uh, comfort wise past that, it's nice and light, didn't build up a lot of heat, and it's pretty good about staying in, in place. Not the best and definitely not the worst. This piece is a little slim, so you really do need the eye cups. So uh, I think that's not really gonna be an option. You know, removing the eye cups and just using it like that is not really a feasible option. Materials, I would say uh, pretty good. I like the materials. I'm not blown away, but uh, for this standard model, I would give the, the materials a, you know, like a B plus. Like, nice work, nothing too exceptional. So yeah, that's the Manta Sleep Mask Slim. It costs $35. I bought this one directly from Manta Sleep Mask. Thanks for watching.